Hi, I'm Ted Wisman, uh, inventor of the Twist Tarp. Uh, I'm here today to introduce a new tool. Uh, this tool right here is something that I uh, have worked on and used something similar during my 42 years as a lineman. This is basically a piece of cast nylon with half inch fiberglass fibers in it. And uh, it's about a foot long. Basically what this does is it will not conduct electricity. I'm hoping this will have a, an ASTM uh, 1505-7 insulation uh, tool rating which is good for a thousand volts. Uh, this nylon piece here has a taper. This tapered end here is for holding staples and because of the taper it'll hold just any size staple you want to put on it. Now why would you want to use this instead of your fingers? Well, anybody can go over there on a nice day and start a staple. But sometimes, like here, it's hard to get in there. You don't want to uh, risk burning up your arms and stuff. So you can put the staple on here, stick it in there and start it, and it's, it's a whole lot safer deal. The um, we have a groove up here. This groove we use for when we uh, spread triplex. Maybe you want to pull a triplex up. Um, you can wedge this in there, which we'll show you after a while, and the, this groove will hold the wires in place. This is hollow, and there is a, a uh, thread in here so that you can stick this over the end of a, a wire and screw it on and that way you can uh, have one end insulated say on a hot triplex and you can do the other one and then take it off and finish this one. And you can also use this for spreading the uh, hot conductors on a triplex. Another use for this is say you want to park your hand line. Now if you go and park your hand line right here you stick your screwdriver down through there your screwdriver could very well be up against that ground wire and then, uh, who knows, maybe you're going to put a phase on a gut up, up against it too. And, and so then you're not sticking it up against your screwdriver, you're sticking it up against a ground. So I'll show you a little bit how this works here. Um, we'll get some staples out. You can see I got some different size staples here. You can see you stick one on there. It's not going to fall off if you do it right. Now, when I, it's not going to fall off until I'm going to show you how to do it. But uh, you can stick different um, staples on there and uh, they'll all stay on there. We'll drive one in here just, just so you see what I'm talking about. Now just imagine that you're um, that you've got your keepers on. Your, you've got leather keepers. They're over rubber gloves and then cloth gloves and it's about 20 below out. The wind's blowing, it's dark, your fingers are frozen, they've been frozen for about 15 minutes, you can't feel anything. Okay, so we're up here, we're going to drive a staple. We can stick that right up next to where we want it, start the staple, pull this out, and finish it. And we can do that without risking poking holes in these rubber gloves. Because who knows, maybe you're tired and you don't even know you poked a hole in it. Okay, the, um, I guess the next thing, uh, we're going to put a uh, hot arm on here. And you can, you can tighten the hot arm, you can tighten a hot arm with a screwdriver, no problem. And it's not a problem until you've got, say, an 8,000 volt wire here. And a ground wire here, and you're gonna you're gonna do some line line work. You got to keep everything hot. Okay, now I I know I don't have my gloves and sleeves on, but you can stick this in there without worrying about uh, short circuit problems. So you can see if you're trying to if you're trying to get a screwdriver in there, you can see that it can get pretty close, especially if you're ground wires pulls here. So that's that's one of the things this is good for is tightening ring bolts 
Same way out here, if you had something on it and you wanted to change it, you can do that. Um, you could take a hot tap off of this if you wanted to. So this is good for ring bolts, it's good for staples, and uh, you want to park your you want to you want to park your hand line here. You can stick that in there, and you can see a ground wire is right there. But it's not going to matter because this is nylon; it doesn't it does not conduct electricity. We're going to install an insulator first. Uh, it's a porcelain insulator, and uh, we'll. We'll start the hole here. Now you can do this with a screwdriver, but this is nice for porcelain because it's not going to chip the glass. We can run that right in there with this tool. And then we will uh, hang the triplex cable on it. And we'll pull it up tight. Okay, so so maybe after a while this sags off and we need to repull this. You can do this with a screwdriver. But if you're forcing your screwdriver in here and your screwdriver's got a sharp edge or something, you can burn this triplex down and have a face full of hot aluminum. Or you can use this tool right here. You, you stick this taper in there and you push it right in there, right up to that groove and that groove will hold it in place. You can, uh, if you need a little more slack, you can turn this to get the grip on it. Okay. Um, after you got it pulled up, maybe you want to do something to it. You can actually spread the conductors and it will hold the conductors apart. And you could insulate the one and then do your work on the other one. This handle uh, is hollow and it has a tapered thread on it so that if you have a, a hot triplex and you want to temporarily insulate one end, you can stick, stick it down in the hole and screw this on there and it will uh, tighten up and you can finish the other end and then take the first one off now this bore is big enough that it will take any triplex from 4 aught down to number 4, no problem. I'll tell you, this, this tool is a, a safety tool. It's made for eliminating short circuits and ground faults and things like that. Um, in the 42 years that I did line work, I probably had a half a dozen close calls and most of them were because of the screwdriver or getting my hammer or a wrench or some metal tool in where I shouldn't have had it. And anytime you can use this, there's no metal in it, you're not going to have any any burn up uh, parts or whatever. This uh, tool should sell somewhere around the price of a pair of Kleins. And I think it would probably last you just about as long and serve you just as well. That's it.